are sometimes referred to as seedless cucumbers. They are actually a cucumber that is parthenocarpic, meaning they will grow even when they're not fertilized. And because of that, the seeds are not full. They're empty seeds, seed casings. Only a fertilized seed will create an embryo that can be saved and grown again for the next year. The novelty or the great thing about a parthenocarpic cucumber is that they don't need to be fertilized by bees or wind or anything else. They just grow on their own. What if you could do that with tomato? Tomato is a little bit more of a valued crop than cucumber. In fact, it's the number one crop in the United States. It's the number one vegetable crop in the United States. So what if we could get a tomato to do exactly this very same thing? Grow without any fertilization whatsoever. Well, you can. I developed a tomato. You're looking at the next generation right here. There's about 40 plants in these two little containers. And these are going to go in my hydroponic water culture. These seedlings, these new uh, plants, are going to go in the water culture. And they came from this, not this specific tomato, but a tomato sister, uh, the same plant that, from a tomato from the same plant that this one came from. This is a big, beautiful, great tasting tomato and it has no seeds whatsoever. This is Donovan's Red. Donovan's Red is not quite fully ripe yet. I pulled it uh, before it was completely ripe. And I'm gonna let it uh, go ahead and mature outside. Let's get a weight on it. It's seven and a half ounces. 7.57 ounces. Now that's a good size tomato. All right, the only thing left to do is add a little bit of salt. Bring out that nice tomato flavor, a little bit of pepper. Put it on the white here so I can see how much pepper. Much. Much tastes great on its own. Mm. It is so hard to beat a nice tomato sandwich, let me tell you. If you want to learn more about what I'm doing in my projects and my breeding work, pay attention.